welcome back to my channel it's Kat I'm happy to be back making a video today's video is all about face all about makeup all about foundation it's my foundation routine for dark skin these are the exact steps that I use in my everyday foundation routine obviously the eye makeup I wouldn't have every day uh, but the skin I focus a lot on my face so everything in this video is what I would do on my everyday routine this is gonna be sort of like a dewy makeup look Anyway, I will leave all the details, everything I used in the description box. If you need to know anything, you can just drop a comment and let me know. Hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna prime my face first. Um, where is me shagging primer? Yeah, I'm using a Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. That's it there. I'm almost run out, but there's a bunch of primers that I do want to try in the new year. Also, happy new year, guys. Today, today is the 1st of January. Today I'm filming this is 1st of January and I'm starting the year as I mean to go on, which is being consistent. That's back. I'm now using La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water to rehydrate my face after priming. You can literally buy this at any pharmacy, but it comes out like little rain spritz. It's really gorgeous, really nice to have on. The first thing I do when I start my makeup routine is color correct. Always because, you know, I've got hyperpigmentation around my mouth, around my eyes. So the product I use for my hyperpigmentation is the NYX Concealer Can't Stop Won't Stop in the color, yeah, in the color Mocha. Looks just like this. Yes, this is almost my foundation color. So, it's perfect for balancing out the dark areas on my skin. I put it around my lips here. Okay, so do you see how that's already like balancing out my skin tone? I've actually ordered the color corrector from KKW. I think it's on its way. I'm excited to try that out. It's like a bright red color, bright red color corrector. I did try a bright red color corrector before. I think it was the LA Girl brand, but it's like it stayed in my skin like you could even see it after my foundation routine was done so i don't really like that so i'm hoping the kkw one is better quality so that's color correcting done i'm now going to use the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter i got it in the shade 7 dark matte i kind of use this to add extra glow to my face it can be used as a foundation on its own if you want a really light look but i like to use it to add the extra glow i know it looks really orange guys but trust me it blends in really nicely so for a foundation i'm going to use the Too faced born this way mm -mm -mm. i use the shade tiramisu i would usually only put on three pumps like around my face and if i need more i'll add more as it's buildable but I think I'm just gonna work with this because I've already got flawless filter on. So I'll just kind of use a flat brush to spread the product across my face. I do love this foundation. And this foundation was 100% influenced by the queen, Jackie Ina. I am bloody obsessed with her. I feel like I got into this now. This looks really orange on camera now, but I'm telling you when it blends out, it's gorgeous. But I really got back into makeup just from binge watching her all of 2020. And um, I learned a lot about just different products that were out there because I was definitely, I don't know, I don't know if it's like because of my star sign. I'm a Taurus and we love to be comfortable. We don't like change. I use my star sign as an excuse for everything. I use it as an excuse just for me to just justify how lazy i was becoming with makeup like honestly i would not try enough products there are loads of products that i would you know be recommended to try on like youtube and stuff or instagram but i was just like nah i'm happy with my foundation routine it's going well for me it works for me it works for my skin tone and then i found jackie Ina. well i found her again i knew who she was but um she always went on about this foundation and how it's so moisturizing as well. I think it's got hyaluronic acid in it. And you know me and my dry skin, so any foundation that has a bit of oil in it, I will take. Okay guys, so I'm gonna move on to concealer. I use two concealers. I use one that's sort of like the shade you should use, and then I go in a little brighter, just to really highlight my under eye. So the first concealer I'm gonna use is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It is the shade Chai. 
Okay, guys, please go ahead and ignore my chip nails. We're in the middle of a panoramic, but I just wanted to show you the shade. Okay, bye. I don't really do the triangle thing because I don't want my face to seem like super long. So I'm just going to stay really close to my eye. So I'm just going to apply it like so. It's definitely important to highlight and contour according to your face shape. I have a really long-ish face. I don't know if it's like a diamond heart-shaped face. But anyway, I like to stay really close to my eye and then I'm highlighting at the sides of my nose as well. So these are all the areas I highlight. Okay. Guys, I got a new camera and I'm still trying to figure out like how to make it brighter and stuff. But before, like I told you before, I used to film on my phone. So it's even weird that I can show the products because even before when I tried to do like any of this stuff, it would not show. So the camera quality, I like I'm happy that the camera quality is so much better. Okay, so I am blending this out. Now I've let it sit for a little bit as well. So the concealer has really gone into my skin. You know, you need to let it flow in. And I really love this concealer. I especially love using concealers that are the same um, type of like brand or line as my foundation. I just find that it complements it even more. So, uh, what are everyone's goals for 2021? So weird. Like, I'm happy, like I'm happy to be in a new year. I really am. I'm really happy to be in a new year, but it's still like, I'll be honest, like it still feels the same. Like it just feels like it's another day, but it's like, oh, new page, new leaf or whatever. Like I did wake up different today. I woke up, you know, telling myself that I was going to be more consistent. I was trying to put some positive affirmations into my mind for the year. But you know what? I'm also not stressing myself. I'm not stressing myself on setting goals too quick. Do you know what I mean? I ordered a really cool financial planner online. I'm definitely going to show because we're going to go on a journey this year together. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm just going to show, like I'm going to show the, uh, the planner I have. I'm, and I'm also, I'm just, oh, I want to do more and I want to say less. I want my success to speak volumes, you know? I want to move in silence, but then here I am saying everything and anything on my YouTube channel. But I also love that because it's a safe space for me. Um, and it's a place where we can just talk shit. Talk whatever we want to talk about. I love writing things down. Absolutely love writing things down. So I can't wait for this planner to come because not only is it a financial planner, it is also um, like a goal setting planner for the year. And I think I'm also going to break my goals into quarters like i'm gonna have a goal for the first quarter of the year the second the third and the fourth and i think that way it's more realistic for me and they don't have to be massive goals for everyone like it could be something like go on walks more or drinking more water or it could be get your driver's license like it could be from big to small it could be anything oh guys this is really blended in really nicely so for my brightening concealer I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. I'm only gonna put a little bit here and a little bit here. I really love this. I'd never used Tarte until this year, but I am promising myself to try more products. Cause there's just so much out there. The consistency of this product is really thick, so a little goes a long way. I'm just gonna focus the product underneath my eyes to enhance the brightening and the side of my nostrils. So next step, we're gonna contour the nose. This is filthy, oh my God. I use this a lot, I'm sorry. Uh, this is Fenty Beauty Match 6 and I got espresso. Okay, wow, my camera did not wanna focus for me today. I hope you guys can see this, sorry. And I kind of just start the nose contour at the bridge, like I don't go up too high. Um, and then I'll use the residue to contour like underneath my nose. So now with the contour on my cheeks and my forehead, I'm just gonna kind of blend it upwards. I just don't want my face, again, I don't want my face to just be long. So I'm just gonna blend that upwards. Like I like how espresso on me, is sort of warm like it's not too cool so it will give um kind of gives like a bronzing effect sort of like contour but also bronzing effect 
That's really nice. See, I'm blending like closer to the middle of my forehead because I know I'm gonna have to wipe the top bit down because I have to glue my wig on. I'm gonna put on some cream blush before. Stop looking at yourself, girl! Look at the camera! Okay. I'm going to put on some cream blush. One I'm using is from Fenty. I really love all the Fenty cream products, but this one is in Summertime Wine. This blush is in a beautiful plum color, and I'm actually going to use my fingers to apply it to my cheeks. <laughs> I have to do this creepy smile just to get it exactly where I want it to land. Okay, so now I know where it wants to go. I can just work around and blend. Use my fingers to blend. It's so nice. Now we're gonna bake right under my eyes. I'm using Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. Pro Filter in Honey. It looks like this. It's really cute. I got the mini version in Sephora because I was testing my baking color. Before I used to only use translucent, but I find that with color, my makeup has looked better, especially with flashback. So I just got a little one and it turns out to be perfect. So when this runs out, I'm gonna buy the big version. I'm just gonna stick this super close under my eye. I'm not gonna bring it all the way down to my face. I don't feel like I need it. And I'm also gonna bring it down the sides of my nose. While this bakes, I'm gonna bronze. So many gorgeous colors on here for deep and dark tones. This palette is called Morphe Face Palette in Deep Glam 8D. That's what it looks like. Right before bronzing, I'm going in with the shade So Epic. It's the darkest shade in the palette to set the cream contour on my face. Okay, it's time for me to brush this off. Because I have dry skin, I will only bake for less than three minutes and then I'll continue my bronzing after this. Okay, now back to bronzing. I'm using the Morphe shade Supreme and Prodigy on the palette to bronze my face. And I will kind of go upwards, as if I'm blushing, but just kind of over my, just a little bit above my contour, kind of in between my blush, just warming up my face, you know? Do a little bit under the chin to warm up the contour. But I will highlight now, uh, before I go and do my eyes, I think, hmm, I think, I think, I think, I think, I'm gonna use liquid highlighter today. I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. This is it over here. What I will do, I'm just gonna put it on my hand and use a beauty blender because I want to be careful with it. I want to, I want to control it. Control how much goes on my face. Just put this on the highest points of my cheekbones. This product actually looks so, so, so nice. Okay, I like it. I haven't used a cream highlight in a minute, but this is stunning. And then I'm going to apply a little bit on the bridge. Okay, guys. The last thing I usually do for my face, now I will do my eye look off camera and come back on, but the last thing I will do on my face to kind of carve and shape and set is baking down here. I sort of use this powder as like a baking powder, but then I use the residue for like powder all over my face. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in Hazelnut. I'm using this setting powder to bake underneath my contour line and my forehead and I also kind of use it around my mouth area. It really helps when I apply my lip liner later. But guys, I think we're almost finished like our face routine. I really hope this video is short. I want to make it like cute and condensed. Always cute and condensed. Cute and condensed. So I'm going to let that bake and I'm going to do my eyes and then I'll come back. See you in a jiffy. So this is the finished look. I'm super, super happy with how this came out. And this is honestly how I would do my foundation every day. Obviously I wouldn't be wearing like the lashes and the eye makeup, but if I'm taking pictures or if I'm going out, this is 
the exact routine I would follow. Now, to be honest, this would stay on me. Like, it's really long wearing. I think baking underneath the eyes and underneath the contour line helps a lot. So when I'm out, I won't really bring a powder with me. I don't think, I, I don't really have one because like I use this massive tub, the hazelnut pro filter powder from Fenty Beauty to go underneath my contour line and like my mouth area. So I can't really bring this in the little bag, but what I do do, what I do do, I will bring a little brush with me like this. I, I got this in Penny's, Penny's Primark. It is actually, it was a double-ended brush and it broke. So <laughs> I just use this now. I will mix it into the residue here and just like fill it all in. And then I'll keep this in my bag. So then if I'm out and I need a top up, I will put it on my forehead. I will put it here. I will put it there. Actually, let me finish this off with a setting spray. It's Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. <coughs> I proper tasted that. Lovely and fresh. I hope you enjoyed my foundation routine. It continues to update. I learn new things. I get new products. I love trying out new products. Okay, thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Love ya.